Aloha and welcome to part 6 of Mega Man X8. We're in Gigabolt Manowar stage and it's actually a jet bike segment. And basically the whole objective of this level is very, very short, but very, very hard if you don't come in prepared. I have to recommend this because I, I did this when I got to the item shop after I beat the last level, but uh, I really should recommend this. If you're going to fight Gigabolt Manowar, make sure your energy weapons are up to 3. You want the highest energy weapons like the highest weapon energy you can possibly get because it's going to make the level that much easier. Basically in this level weapon energy is converted into booster fuel and the more boosts you have the more you can catch up to Gigabolt Manowar and uh, take his ass out. And basically you just want to keep shooting this guy and shooting this guy and shooting this guy and he goes in two laps around the city and if he's done his second lap and you haven't killed him yet the city is destroyed and you have to retry. So, you want to be quick on the draw and take him out as fast as you can, and use those boosts to get up right close to him, so you can just take him out with pellets. The thing is, he's also shooting bombs and projectiles at you as well, and you're dodging, like, signposts and stuff. It's like Star Wars Episode Two, only good. <laughs> Seriously, that was a dreadful movie. But, uh, I digress. You want to come in with three weapon energy. Uh, for this level, it really doesn't matter who you bring in. Uh, there's no hidden items, there's no Dr. Light capsule here. There's nothing you can get here. I'm going to 100% this stage just by beating it. Everyone else does. And uh, it doesn't matter if you bring X-Zero or Axel. I just like fighting Gigabolt with Zero since it's so goddamn easy. I shouldn't have brought X, honestly. Uh, X's ability, the crystal wall that creates, that raises items out of the ground, it's not very good against fighting Gigabolt. And since uh, this guy has worked at Earthrock Trilobite, that's the weapon you, X would be using. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Like I said, uh, we're on the second lap now, that's why the city is flashing red, and uh, you want to kill him before he finishes that second lap. You gotta get up real close to Gigabolt, you gotta shoot, 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 shoot this motherfucker, and you gotta find all the boost uh, items. Like, you see these glowing orange orbs, you have to pick them up, you have to keep boosting into Gigabolt. You want to get close to him so you can shoot him. But, you know, it's a tight balancing act. Uh, it gets harder at every difficulty you play. In easy mode, it's easy to take out Gigabolt without much weapon energy. In normal mode, it really helps to have that weapon energy, but it's not too bad. And in hard mode, I swear, it takes way too many shots to bring this guy down. So I did fuck this up the first time I tried, but uh, my second run was good. And this is the second run you're watching. I wasn't going to make you watch the first run. You gotta shoot this guy a shit ton, a shit ton in hard mode. So you know, zoom in and get as close as you can. And we got him. And that's the whole level, folks. Once you do a stop and disable Gigabolt's UFO or whatever the fuck he was in. Oh my God, a UFO besides Doctor Wily's. How about that? He lands and then uh. I guess it's not a UFO, it's him. Return Megawapolis is powered to normal. Now. He's so far gone, he can't even respond. I'm no maverick. I'm not doing anything wrong. Looks like I'll have to teach you a lesson. Alright, I'm very embarrassed about this first uh, run. Uh, I usually kill Gigabolt so easily, too. I don't know what I was doing. Uh, that's the thing about recording LPs. You always fuck up, and then you get more pissed, and then you just... I don't know, but regardless, when you're zero, because your Z-Saber was turned orange and it has the ability to shoot out bullets, just whacking him with the Z-Saber now is his weakness. Thanks, Earthrock Trilobite! So if you're zero, you just hit him with your Z-Saber and it's pretty much easy as shit. I was doing horrible in my first run, I kept getting hit by his overdrive move. His overdrive move, basically he creates these little sparks on the ground before he actually shocks the ground, and you know to get away from that, by going to the area where there were no sparks, and it's a fairly easy overdrive move, sorta. I mean, you have to be quick, obviously. He loves to create these little jellyfish things, and, um... Again, if you have the crystal wall, it's not really useful against Gigabolt. He spends a lot of the time in the air, so I guess bringing X was not a good idea. <laughs> Even his, his jellyfish have shields, and it's really annoying if, he if, he let if you let him do his shit. And then I accidentally dashed off the side of the platform like an idiot. I'm usually so good against this guy. On the second run, I definitely was. Again, 
with Zero, all you have to do is double jump right up to him, slash him. So you gotta get the hell out of the way when he starts doing his little electric, electric Sith Lord blast, you know. When you have the Z-Saber or the Crystal Wall, you can take out the Jellyfish in one fell swoop, which is always swell. Keep an eye out where the, sh the lightning won't be, and you should be fine. Oh god, it did so much better on my second run. I don't know what the hell I was doing the first time. And I swear, he sounds like every time he gets hit, he says, Snickle Fritz! Snickle Fritz! I swear that's what I'm hearing. But anyway, folks, that's it. Uh, I did so much better the second run. Let's just keep slashing Jellyfish here with uh, the with your Z-Saber, and you'll be fine. Or bring Axel, because his projectile can shoot upwards into the air, whereas X has to raise the crystal wall and tip it onto Gigabolt. So you're probably best with Zero and Axel here. Why did I bring X? I don't know. We get Raikouzen, Thunder Dancer, and Plasma Gun. So Axel gets a little, a limited range projectile thing. He just has, has sort of a taser. <laughs> he gets up close to guys and he can shock them to death. X shoots a giant lightning bolt at people, which is also very awesome. And Zero gets a dash attack that he sort of disappears for a while, goes forward, and then shoots lightning across where he dashed. I don't find it that useful, honestly, but, uh, yeah. And that's the abilities you get. So anyway, folks, I'm just going to increase my life bar, why not? Make Zero's life up, too, so now he's all the way up. These guys are badasses now. I've completed the analysis of the Maverick data accumulated so far. What makes new generation Reploids resistant to viruses is their copy chip. The copy chip can actually change a Reploid's DNA. Did you examine my data? Yes. I compared your data to the copy chips in new generation Reploids. I found something very interesting. Sigma? The data embedded in the copy chips closely resembles that of Sigma. I'm not exactly sure what this means, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't worry me. Oh god. Gee, I, I thought Sigma was behind this, but you know. <laughs> but in the, in the past seven experiences, I was thinking maybe Sigma took a day off. Maybe he, he wasn't behind this, but yeah. Hoi. Anyway, now we're moving on to Avalanche Yeti, who is weak against Gigabolt Manowar. Go figure, that's why we're going in the order we're going. And this time, uh, we're going to be still riding in vehicles. <laughs> we're going in a another jet bike. Oh no! The Environmental Research Center system is down! If you don't hurry, we could all be in great danger! Watch out for crevasses! So yeah, this is another jet bike sequence, uh, kind of similar to the X4, X5, X6 ones, except obviously in 3D, and now we can see where we're going. Uh, there are certain pits in the area that you have to dash and move your bike in the right position so that you don't fall in the pits. Uh, that can be a bit annoying. And actually, all three characters handle differently on the bike. Uh, X, he can charge his bike up to do a powerful blue shot, just like him himself. Uh, Zero shoots green small, like, waves of energy. Uh, they don't go very far, but they hurt mega damage, and, uh, you know, it's like Zero, you know, he's all about raw strength over range. And Axel, he can hold the button down to shoot it repeatedly, whereas X, you have to keep tapping the button to do it, and he can charge the thing up. So, uh, you have three different bikes. Again, I probably should have brought Axel to show off the, the uh, re repeated shot, because, uh, I can't get to the Dr. Light capsule yet. I need a certain ability that I do not have quite quite yet. But I brought X anyway because I don't know. <laughs> I think it's because I prefer fighting Avalanche Yeti with X. I think his, um, his Thunder Dancer works pretty well against him. Though if I had Axel, that would too. I don't know. I just like X! Leave me alone! <laughs> Anyway, folks, which brings us to the sub-boss of Avalanche Yeti stage is a giant yellow airplane that actually drops enemies and bombs on you as well. And then it dips down so that you can take it out. Um, you want to sort of get close to it. You want to make sure you're taking out everything that falls out of it. When it lands down, it will shoot these small purple energy ball things at you very slowly, but you want to move left and right generally when that happens. 
In the first sub-boss fight, he only shoots two at a time, but in the, the later sub-boss fight, he'll shoot four. Yes, there's a later one, but, uh, you know. Just stay on that motherfucker, just be persistent and keep on him, and you should take him out no problem. Boom! Just like that. <laughs> Also, warning, when he when you think he's just dropping uh, metals when he's blowing up, no, he drops enemies too, so keep using that fire button. Keep, be on your guard, because we're not quite done yet. And yeah! Anyway, folks, see you in part 7.